Hello friends, I am Snehal and we are studying applications of differential equations and we will start with the Newton's law of cooling. So let's see the Newton's law of cooling. So it says that the rate of fall of temperature of a body is directly proportional to excess temperature of body over surrounding. So excess temperature is the temperature difference between body and surrounding. So for an example, suppose we have this cup of tea or coffee and let's say that it has initial temperature of theta naught. So when T equals to 0, the temperature of this cup of tea or coffee is theta naught. And temperature of the surrounding is theta s and the problem is we have to find the temperature of this body the cup of tea or coffee at some later time let's say t so the newton's law says that fall of temperature with respect to time so this is change in temperature with respect to time and because there is fall in temperature we have negative change in temperature with respect to time so this is directly proportional to the excess temperature of body or surrounding so we have theta minus the temperature of surrounding theta is temperature of body now we will remove this proportionality sign and put equality sign. So, for that we need this constant, let us say k. So, we have theta minus theta s. This is minus d theta by dt. So, this is simple differential equation which we can solve by using the method of separation of variables. So let us take terms containing theta on left hand side and terms containing t on right hand side. So I can rewrite this d theta by theta minus theta s equals to k times dt and I will take this negative sign on the other side. So we have minus k times dt. Now we can just integrate this simply. So, integral of this is equal to, I have taken k outside since it is a constant. So, integral of this left hand side is just natural log of this theta minus theta s and it is equal to minus k times integral of dt is just t plus this constant of integration okay so let's find the constant of integration so we have this initial condition when t equals to 0 we have theta equals to theta naught so let us substitute it in this equation so, substituting this condition in equation 1, what do we get? We get log of theta naught minus theta s equals to, since this is, um, we have t equals to 0, this term becomes 0. So it is simply equals to c. Now let us substitute the c again in equation 1. We found this value of constant. What we get is ln of theta 
minus theta s equals to minus kt plus ln of theta naught minus theta s. We can take this term on left hand side. So we have log of theta minus theta s minus log of theta naught minus theta s equals to minus kt. So this can be simply written as ln of theta minus theta s divided by theta naught minus theta s equals to minus kt. Now we can remove this logarithm by using exponential. So let's take the exponent of LHS and RHS. So we get theta minus theta s divided by theta naught minus theta s equals to e raised to minus kt. Then we can take this term on right hand side. So we have theta minus theta s equals to theta naught minus theta s multiplied by e raised to minus kt. Then taking theta s on other side, we have the relation between theta and time. So theta equals to theta s, the temperature of surrounding plus theta naught minus theta s multiplied by e raised to minus kt.